Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, I suggest we should wait some minutes, only because in Bologna, in general, uh, for the course organization, we start uh, with not exactly at the time of the beginning of the lesson, we give some minutes to the student to come to move between rooms, uh, to disconnect from one room to another. So I suggest uh, we can start at 10 past 9 in the morning. Okay, I could be here earlier, but anyway, we can use uh, this time to solve your problems uh, if you have questions uh, or just to give you time to, to be here. Okay? Okay? So can you hear me from uh, home? Good morning also to the students. Yes. Good morning, madam. Okay, so you can hear me and uh, morning. you can yes, see. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yes. Good morning, ma'am. Hey, professor, good morning. <laughs> Hello. There are also some colleagues of you in the room. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So you are about uh, Good morning. Forty four from home and ten in the room. It's a bit disappointing. Nothing with you, I mean, but you know. I hope to have more people in the room. Maybe next, in the next lessons. Okay, while we wait some minutes for all the students to arrive and connect, I wish uh, to ask uh, the students who are in the room, uh, if you are from Bologna or uh, from uh, another town in Italy or abroad. I'm from Bologna. Bologna? Rimini. Rimini? Netherlands. Sorry, Netherlands. Yes. Hi, great. Netherlands. Yeah, good. Rovigo. Rovigo. I thought you were from <laughs> Veneto. <laughs> yeah. Iceland. Iceland, okay. From Massa. Sorry? From Massa, Ah, okay. Yes, from Bologna. Bologna, okay, good. So. I will, I will ask something also to you from home in a little while. You are a lot. Okay, so today we are going to start uh, to know each other, okay? And I'm going to give you some details about uh, the course organization, okay? Excuse me. Uh, yes? Yes? Madam, I would like to know if uh, I could uh, I could enroll this course after this online course because yesterday I tried but I couldn't. Uh, sorry, um, could you please repeat because uh, the volume was low and I had to I couldn't uh, hear. Okay, madam. Madam, I would like to know if after this online course I can 
and wall to this post because yesterday I tried but I couldn't. I don't know if it was a technical problem. Okay, you mean uh, enroll in virtuale? Or, uh... Yes, madam, in virtuale. Okay, so we are going to discuss this problem uh, in a minute. Uh, but I suggest uh, to you to try again because uh, I have just changed uh, an option. Okay, madam, thank you, madam. Okay, so. Okay, madam, thank you. Okay. Let me share the desktop. And first of all, it would be great if from home you could switch on your webcams. No one will. Because in the room, all of us want to see the colleagues at home. Is it true? <laughs> okay, so let's try, at least in the first lesson. Okay. You can try. Please, from home, switch on your webcam. I have just shared the video so that... Uh... See your police the moment. Okay. I hope to be able to be together in a greater number. You miss nothing, we were just talking a bit uh, to know each other. <laughs> okay, so from home, let me see your faces, please. No one? Okay, great, we can see you. Hello everyone. Now looks like Hello. class. Okay. <laughs> A great group of students. Good morning. Good morning. No, you are not late. I know we used to start at quarter past nine, but we have to spend so little time together. That, uh, as I told you, I told to your colleagues, uh, we are going to start uh, teaching, okay, helping each other at uh, 10 past 9. Okay? Okay. So, another thing I want to tell you, which is very, very important for me, I hope we have a lot of, we have occasion to discuss about uh, geotechnical engineering in this course uh, uh, the whole time together. Okay? Interaction means that please uh, home oh, in the room is simple. In person is very easy because I will ask you question, you will answer or you will stop me and uh, this is very easy when we are in person, but uh, from home, yeah. from home, please do not use the chat, but uh, switch on the microphone. Okay. Very important, otherwise, uh, it's very difficult to talk. Uh, to look at the chat, to see your questions, and so please use the chat only when it is required, okay? For okay, all 
different times and it could be at home and so we are going to use the chart only for this reason, okay? And uh, if you have uh, questions uh, for me when uh, you are at home, or a private message in team. So no messages is in the uh, lesson. This is very important. So in our mobile phones and during the night. Okay? Okay, so please. In my team, the account or send emails okay, to me to the other professor of this course, and that's all. Okay, okay. so say bye bye because I'm turning <laughs> the camera. Okay. Okay, so we are a lot uh, from a lot of countries uh, in this lesson and the next. Uh, I'm going to, to see uh, your, um, uh, your home country because I'm going to ask you some uh, information and especially not, not because I'm curious, you know, it's nice to know where are... Uh, hello. Signor Giovannoni. Scusi? Signor Giovannoni. No. Non l'ho trovata. No, Sa dov'è? E non so chi sia, mi dispiace. Ok, sorry. Um, so, I'm going to ask you some data about uh, your student profile, your, not CV, but I mean, I need to know which courses uh, you take uh, in your bachelor, ok? And, uh, and uh, to calibrate uh, the course, okay? Uh, so this will be today or tomorrow, okay? In these lessons. Um, okay, so do you, do you want to say something from home or we can start with the course information? If you want to say something, you, just, you can just ask also. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Just complained about the audio portion. Do you have problem with the audio from home? Uh, professor. Yes. The voice is clear. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, can you hear me, doctor? Yes. I think opening all the video cameras at once is making the connection a lot a lot worse. Okay, yes, I agree. I thank you for switching on the ca your cameras, sir, because it was great to see you all together. You can now switch off your cameras. Thank you. Uh, hi, doctor. Can you hear me? Yes. The, the, the internet connection was perfect, so I didn't hear you. If we want to ask you a question, should we like uh, send it in the chat or should we? I'm sorry, I couldn't understand because of the audio. Okay, so now write these in the write your question in the chat. Okay, is has the audio improved or not? Is it better now? Yes, it's clear now. It's clear now. Yes. Yes, madam, it's clear now. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Okay. So, let's start uh, with the information you need uh, for this course. Let me share. Sorry. 
Okay, I have just shared the video so that from home you should see the PowerPoint slides, okay? Le vedete? Can you see? Yes. Sorry for the Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I have to shift in different courses from Italian to, uh, to English, so sometimes some words like confusion. Okay, so this is your geotechnical engineering course. Uh, my name is Michela Marchi. I will uh, spend the first half the first half of the course with you. The second half, exactly, exactly half of the course, will be held by Professor Guttardi. Okay, but the course is one. Okay, the exam is one, and the contents are connected. Okay. So you don't have two professors, two exams. You have only one exam and uh, two professors that will, uh, um, will teach to you. We also have a tutor. I'm going to, to tell you everything in a very little time. Okay? The best way to communicate with us is to use the, the emails, our emails, addresses. Okay? Mine is here, michela.marchi at unibon.it and we don't have to have it too, remember the number, okay? Otherwise you send email to another person, okay? Okay, so if you have a general questions about the course, the exam, etc., when you write to us in general, please write to both of us, okay? You can send the email to one of us and to the other one who can see the email or directly to both. But please do it, otherwise we will both answer or no, no one of us will, will answer. I don't know. Anyway, please do it and this will work, okay? Here are the references, also our phone, okay, and um, the place where we have our offices, etc. Uh, remember, we have a website, okay, a page. You can have a look to our page to find all details, okay? Okay, course information. Here is our timetable. We have to spend together four hours per week, starting from today until the end of December, okay? The 22nd is the very last day of the lessons in general, okay? So we have lessons now, okay, in this period of the year. Then in January and February, there are exams, okay? After that, Oh, can you see here the first period of the exam session from the 23 of December to the 18th February? Then we are not going to give you the opportunity to do exams when there are lessons, okay? So from the 18th February to the 8th of June, okay, you have lessons again, other subject. And uh, then we start again with an exam session from the 9th of June to the 16th of September, okay? So basically you have uh, two uh, possibility to give the exam in each exam session, okay? Um, no, more than two, because also we have June, July, September, okay? At least one day per month. Okay, something more. Okay. Last year, uh, we gave you the opportunity to give the exam before Christmas, something like the 23. <laughs> but it's not always possible, okay? Because it depends, it's a very short time between the end of lesson and the Christmas break. And so uh, now we, we are not sure that will be possible this year. 
So remember that uh, it's easier for you to take the exam just after the end of the lesson. So in gen generally in February is the best time. Okay. If you are not able to arrange to take the exam in, the, in this period, it's not a problem. You will have lots of opportunities after that. But, you know, just after the end, the end of the lesson, is everything is easier, okay? Because you are fresh of lesson, we are still in touch. Uh, and uh, so my suggestion is to try to do the exam as soon as possible after the end of the lessons, okay? Do you have questions about uh, this? You know, this is our room. Tomorrow we will be in room 0 0.1, which is uh, in the opposite side of the building, okay? On the, uh, on the ground floor. No, sorry, that was, <laughs> yeah, uh, upside down, okay? I will, uh, I will um, correct. So today, ground floor, room 0 0.1 is at the second floor. Okay? Sorry for that. Okay, so topics and contents in general of the course. We are going to start with the theoretical lessons for every topic we have to cover. And then we will apply the concept, concepts using uh, very little uh, short exercises, okay? Both in the first part of the course and in the second part, okay? The, the first part uh, is more dedicated to the definition of the geotechnical model, okay? Using laboratory and uh, in this site investigations data, okay? Starting from that, uh, moving to the definition of a model of the site. Okay? And this is important in, so in uh, geotechnical engineering because you know that soil is a natural material. Okay? So basically, every site is different from the other. Okay? And this is the first half of the course in which we, I will uh, also recall some concepts of uh, critical stage soil mechanics okay? that you need. Uh, to focus on the soil behavior in a general framework and in a theoretical framework which covers the behavior of every type of soil. Okay? And I will also add something basic to start with design at the end of my part of the course and then you move to the real design part of the course that will be covered by uh, Professor Guttardi, okay? For us, it's very important to apply the concept that we, we try to, to transmit, okay? And so exercise will be, will be something we need to Can you? Yes, Professor. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I think that we can go on. Okay. Uh, I'm going to read this, uh, this, this slide for you if at home I want to uh, go to our conversation again. But remember, this is something like a start to advance courses of technical engineering, so you should already know basic concepts of soil Okay. 
Someone is moving around the town. Huh? That's right. Okay. Sam. Okay. Sorry. Let's try again. Okay. It's something obvious, but remember that uh, these uh, um, these are the website I think of the course okay so now you know that Okay. Uh, 
uh, I, I already uploaded an example of written tests in virtuality. All of this ask me to, to give examples. So if you have a look to virtuale, good morning. You can find here an example of written with the solution. Okay? The test up here. Exercise one. Okay? This is about a triaxial test. Okay, and this is about design. Okay, so usually one exercise is related to the first part of the course, the other one to the second. But this is not a rule. I mean, what is relevant is are the contents. Could be only one big exercise. Okay, but topics are exactly the same. Okay, this was probably a settlement problem. Okay, yes, supplements. And the solution in this case is here, okay? Let me see. Okay. So here we are. In virtuale, you also find some additional exercises that you can use at home to practice. Okay, but now it's very it's early. Okay, you don't have concepts to uh, to start doing them. So you have to wait, and every time you finish. A topic, then you can have a look to the exercise to see if you are able to develop um, these um, these examples. Okay. Doctor, I have a question. Yes. Please. Um, I've done oral exams before, but not for engineering courses. So I'm just wondering, for engineering, like for this course, for example, the oral exam will consist of us solving an exercise orally or explaining theories and concepts orally. Explaining a theory and concepts. Okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, something very important, <coughs> reference material. Okay? We have two textbooks. One is... Uh, and the technical engineering, okay, school edition by Renato Ancelotta. The second one is uh, related to the piles topic, okay, because piles are not included in the first book. So, okay. You can use basically your notes, lesson notes, but remember that you will find concepts in the book. So at home, if you need to review your preparation, okay, you have to go inside the book and read also books. Okay? We try in, in the last years to adequate to uh, I mean, to give a shape of our course similar to the contents of the, of the books, so that it's easier for you at home to study what we do together in the room. Okay? Uh, lecture slides are in virtual. Okay? The first two blocks of slide is already uploaded, so please register in virtual. Okay? in the page of our course, okay, so that you can download the material, okay? I have just opened this page, so you have seen it. If you, your position as a student is regular, you should be able to register to the course. If not, maybe there is a problem with our offices, international offices, so you can ask them or also us to, to help in this process, okay? 
as you can see here, the course introduction slides are uploaded with, also with the icebreaker um, topic that we are going to, to study in a little while. Okay. Um, another, another important information, uh, once you are registered in Virtuale, you can receive uh, something like, uh, like uh, if, if I need to communicate something to you, I will send the messages from Virtuale and Professor Gottardi will do the same, okay, through this uh, announcement section, okay. Let me shift to the English version. Okay. Oh no. Still on. Un un I tried. Anyway, announcements. Okay. And the email will uh, reach uh, your uh, student uh, email address. Okay. So always control this. Uh, let me go back to the slides. Okay, again, the course page, the, web, uh, the website of the course is here. Okay, so you can find all these details also in the page of the course. A good point is that uh, both books could be downloaded for free from the university. A website, the proxy of your library. So please do this um, operation. I mean, you can buy all of the book or download the original PDF, okay, uh, from the proxy of our library. Okay, here is the link. Okay, both of them can be downloaded in a PDF uh, file, okay, both, and the link are in the blue uh, window here, okay. So you have first to connect to the proxy of the university, okay, you have to do it using your email address as students and your password, the official account, and then you will see that you will be able to download the book. If you have problems, just let me know. It's very important that all of you have the books. Okay? Uh, another point, I mean, what is very important is that if a lot of students download the book, the library will give us the opportunity again next year to give the book for, for free to the students. If you do not download the book, then they can tell me it's not necessary, we are not going to buy it anymore. Okay, we will give priority to other books. So please do this officially, okay? Okay, so I think I told you everything you need. Uh, you have a tutor. The tutor is Ilaria Bertolini, okay? Ilaria Bertolini, here is the email. You are going to meet her the next, uh, during the course, okay? And uh, she will, uh, she can help with questions. You can ask to me, Professor Ricardi, and Ilaria meetings, okay, to solve your doubts, okay? That means that you have started, you are, you are grown up, so you know it. It's not like, uh, please repeat uh, the five topic. Uh, no, <laughs> okay, you have to come to lesson, to listen during the course. Questions are specific, you have to study and to come and say, I don't understand why this formula works like that, or the concept, or an exercise, okay? But you have to try to develop the exercise first and then come and say, here yeah, I am. I cannot solve this point or the other. Okay? Okay, that's clear. Um, I think I Thank mm -hmm. you.
And so nothing changed apart from you So you will listen to see who is speaking. Hello. Hello. Uh, I was wondering, in terms of the uh, uh, this PowerPoint that you were showing, any Okay, this is the beautiful Okay, this is the slide of the contents. So probably or I, I didn't understand your point or maybe 
Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Because I thought it was too short because it said six pages and the one you were showing was 12, but it's because there's two. Uh, no, I put two in one because otherwise it's too big. Uh, I think uh, to printing the slide, uh, one line in one page is too much, but if you, if you prepare in different ways, okay, I think no. it's more the same. It's okay? my bad. It's, it's my bad. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. If you have more questions, uh, we can. Uh, um, you can ask. Uh, okay. So now. A very short, I mean, uh, I will very, very short thing to you about the geotechnical uh, engineering. In general, I will try to give you examples uh, and uh, to show you our communication, okay? But something like an icebreaker, so some words about uh, geotechnical engineering and uh, the topics we are going to cover. Okay. What is important is that The cover structure, okay? So, all the, these structures uh, relate to the spiral. Uh, when we talk about rocks, we should refer to rock mechanics, okay?
uh, the water flow through the veins, for example, of our excavation through the walls, etc. Okay. So in general, when we talk about uh, uh, soil mechanics and geotechnical engineering, you know, we talk about soil, but, but we also talk about water. Okay. This is the reason why uh, you have to to remember the concepts uh, related to hydraulics. Okay. What is the peculiarity of soils? The peculiarity is that uh, soils are natural materials and so every site is different from the other. Okay? Every time we have to be able to plan site investigations. Okay? So a geotechnical engineer not only design the structure, but also design the investigation strategy okay? and the monitoring. This is extremely important. Okay? And in this field, experience is something that helps a lot. Okay? Why? Because considering that every site is different from the other, so I mean, having experience in different conditions, soil conditions, that is helpful, okay? And especially at the beginning of the career of a young geotechnical engineer, okay? Here there is a sentence which is related to something that I, I used to do when there was no COVID, when, because I used to bring to the room samples of rocks and soils, okay? But a lot of students who are not able to distinguish between the sample of rock and the sample of soil. Okay? Because sometimes soil, when it's dry, could be similar to a rock. Okay? And so the test we did was to put the samples in water. Okay? So for some samples, water could not destroy connection between particles, okay? Chemical connection between uh, the uh, particle of the material, and this was rock, but, but in other cases, in other other samples, putting the sample in the water, the connection between the grains disappeared, okay? And this was a sample of soil, not of the rock. So the reason I left this, okay? sentence, but we cannot do the activity together at this time. Anyway, remember that uh, going to the site and uh, starting with uh, recognition in general is important, and then having a look to the result of the field investigation, to the whole course, etc., is an important part of the work. Okay? Absolutely not easy. We used to do it with the help of uh, geologists. Okay, so what does a geotechnical engineer uh, do, or what are the typical problems of geotechnical engineering? In general, we use principle of soil mechanics to investigate the site and to create uh, the geotechnical model of the site. Basically, using the results of investigation, we have to characterize the soil, our soil in terms of physical, mechanical, and chemical properties. Okay? Then we move to design or stability evaluation, for example, of natural, ro natural slopes risk analysis, design of foundation of work, etc., etc., and uh, we should be able to design a monitoring system and give an interpretation to the monitoring data. Okay? Why monitoring is so important? We are going to talk 
about monitoring a bit more at the, at the beginning of uh, site investigation because monitoring is at the base of the observational method. Okay? Observational method, I was to write it down. Did you, have you ever heard about observational method? I will write here. Have you ever heard this word? I used to too small for you. I can write it down. is something which is included in the standard in Europe, for example. Okay. When uh, the design is uh, uh, quite complicated, then uh, also the standard enables the, the engineers, uh, the designer, to, um, to revise the design during uh, the performance of the work, checking the performance of the work. So, using the results of the monitoring system that we installed. It's very important in geotechnical engineering because the behavior of soil, especially in relation to the variation of water table, okay, of core pressure, is not always predictable. Okay? And so, it's important to make hypotheses. Okay? When you believe in a design strategy, okay, then you, you carry out your work installing monitoring systems and you control the giver of your work um, during the life, okay? You're also during construction. And if there is something that doesn't like, you can always modify your design strategy, okay? This is relevant when the site conditions are very complicated, okay, for difficult soils, okay, um, and um, or for strategic uh, structures, okay, so it's a big infrastructure in general, okay. I mean, there must be money, okay, for the monitoring system, so must be something important in private. Otherwise, it is pointless to, to install a very complicated monitoring system if the structure is smaller or, or, or okay. Let's move back. Okay. So, in this course, we are talking about uh, design of new structures, but uh, let me tell you, because it's something that um, I would say I'm an expert, but uh, I also like very much uh, topics of the technical engineering related uh, to conservation of historic buildings. Okay? So conservation of structure is a topic which is absolutely of uh, in crucial importance in our daily life and in our uh, work. So many engineers work, uh, especially in Italy, in the topic of preservation of our uh, historic sites and buildings. Okay? With, with Professor Lottardi, we recently uh, studied the two towers of Bologna, so we are still working on that problem, okay, you have seen Garizenda, I'm sure, which is very fine, and has Nelly Towers, okay. You know, the prediction of the behavior of this type of structure is something uh, um, very delicate, I would say, okay, not always possible to make predictions, but uh, uh, it's important uh, to study them, to install monitoring system, and cooperate between uh, uh, geotechnical, uh, 
technical and from a technical point of view, structural point of view. And, and so I think it's important. And the technical engineering has a crucial role for the conservation of our historic size and building. Why? Can I read it? We can read together the sentence. Soil is generally more sensitive than standard construction materials, so concrete, steel, etc., to stress, variation, and weathering. Okay. So the stress state of the soil in time is not constant. Okay. Changes okay, during time. Especially, for example, if we have foundation like that one of Garizenda, okay, in which uh, we have an eccentric load, okay, eccentric load of foundations mean that uh, if we have creep movements, okay, aging, okay, we could have rotation of the foundation at constant, okay, at constant load, but if our structure is inclined, okay, then an increase of inclination, increase sorry, yes, of inclination due to creep increases the moment of foundation because the load is sensitive. Okay, so if the creep goes on, okay, then the phenomena doesn't stop, cannot stop. Okay, and so our task, one of our tasks could be this. Will the structure stop or not? Okay, this was the big problem, uh, for example, of the Pisa Tower. Okay, in the next lesson, I will give some give you some information about this tower. Why? Because it was, uh, I think, the most important and well-known uh, uh, historic monument that was addressed by the technical engineering design. Of an intervention in the last, uh, uh, at the beginning of the, at the end of the 19th century. Okay? And so this was done by a commission of uh, an international expert of this field. So this is an example of the, import, but of the importance of knowing and of understanding problems. Okay? So I think that. This topic in the technical engineering in partic is particularly interesting because um, we can, we are able, with what we know now, to understand the causes of problems, of the technical problems, and to solve them, okay, without destroying okay, our our uh, our buildings, our historical structure. Okay, so it's something different from the design of new structure, but still it's something maybe you will face in your future. Okay, and uh, concepts that we apply to something newer or to something existing are the same. Okay, and this word weathering. Okay. Can you see this picture? Civita di Bagnoregio is in Umbria, not far from here. Okay, it's one of our ghost town in Italy. And uh, weathering what happened that the contact between soil and the atmosphere is diminishing. Okay, because of rains and ice, they destroy okay, these, the external part of slopes and so. It's very difficult. Uh, in, it's, it is very difficult in some cases to uh, do interventions. Okay, for example, in this case, it, it's impossible. Okay, to stabilize this type of soil. Okay, but in some cases, it's possible. Okay. Okay, so now mm, this link is for you. Okay, do it at home by yourself. So we, we will take a break now. Okay, and, and uh, this is a video. Hello, which is known, uh, uh, which is called What is the Technical Engineering? It is uh, mm, a very short video, some minutes. Uh, 
Um, the, the person who speaks in the video is uh, the president of uh, ISS and GE, which is the International Society of Soil Mechanics and Geotechnical Engineering. Right? And it is an introduction to, to the topics uh, related to geotechnical engineering. So I suggest you to have a look to the video on YouTube. Okay? And now we can stop. Um, uh, remember that at the end of the slides, uh, I'm just when I can, uh, I write something for you, which is like a, a reminder what you have to do for the next lesson or at the end of this session. Okay, with some references. Okay? And in the second part of this lecture, we are going to have a look to the preliminary assessment test, which is something uh, we ask you to do. Okay? Not for us, but for yourself more than for us. Okay? So we can stop a minutes and we start again at 10.20. Okay? See you soon from home. Uh, we're going to get a coffee. <laughs> yes, sure, go. Oh, where, where can I get it? The coffee? Yeah. There is a, a coffee bar at the end of this corridor. Okay? Ciao. Hello, don't yeah, worry. Sorry for being here. I was living in the office. I was just a tool. What's the title? You will find, we, we had a coffee this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be soon.
Okay, if some one of you has, uh, has questions uh, from home, just ask. Okay. Okay, so from home are you ready? I think you are almost ready in the room. Okay, so today I'm going to anticipate something that I plan for tomorrow. But I think uh, that uh, it's better to do it now together. And uh, okay, but uh, I think we have time now to to do this, to do the preliminary assessment test. Okay, I didn't print uh, the test because you know it's better not to exchange. The, uh, material, but uh, I will uh, show you the test uh, on the screen and uh, you can uh, write answers uh, in your uh, sheet and then we, you will leave it on the, uh, on the desk here. The test is anonymous, we are not going to consider the outcome of the test. From home, I'm going to send you the file and uh, you can uh, uh, do the same, I mean writing in, the, in a paper the answer and uh, send them, uh, send the PDF or the picture of your test to my email, okay? Then I will do a little summary of the information that you send and I will discuss that with Professor Votardi to plan a better plan our course or uh, and also to know uh, what you did in your bachelor, okay? So, um, now let me explain better what this test is, okay? So before starting with uh, a summary of what, uh, what you should know from your preparation of soil mechanics, we are going to do this test. Okay, and uh, here is the test. I will open the file with you.
I will also send the file in the chat. So if you have a device and you prefer to use your laptop, you can also use the file that I'm going to send you in, uh, in Teams. Steam? No. That's strange. I cannot send the file. This is something new, sorry. Okay, so let's do this. For you at home, please. If you are already enrolled in virtuale, you can find it here, preliminary assessment test. Okay, you can open the file. Uh, excuse me, Professor. Start. Yes? Uh, could you please share your screen so we can see what's going on? Yes, sure. The virtual room disconnected. Sorry for that. That's my gain. Okay. Can you see the? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So here have the questions. Is it too small for you? Can you read? So, answer the question now. You have about 20 minutes. As you can see, the first page is something related to your background, okay? Educational background, okay? The second one is the preliminary assessment test. I will enlarge, once you have finished this part, which is very quick, I will enlarge the second part. I will try, at least. These are concepts, questions about concepts of soil mechanics. Something that, in our opinion, should be something that you remember from your background. Okay, but try, try to do it. It's not something which is uh, obvious, so try. Then, before finishing this lesson, you have to give me the sheet with the questions or send it to me by email. From home, you have to send the email. The test is mandatory, okay? So I will check 
that everyone enrolled in the course has done it. From home, please do not use books or uh, internet because it's pointless. There is not a mark, there is not your name, okay? Okay, madam, we will send the email, but please, madam, if we still have uh, a problem enrolling on virtually, what should we do? Uh, it's in the screen. I have shared the screen. Can you see it? I will try to share also in Teams, but I need to ask uh, support uh, to the technician, okay? Otherwise, have a look to the screen and answer from there. Okay, madam, thank you. Teoricamente si dovrebbe comparire di sotto, ma non compare più. Si parte che ogni tanto mi butta fuori. Quello è secondo me un problema di Teams in generale. E non c'è più la clip, quella. Lei è messa come relatore, vero? Sì, sì, perché sono docente. Mi provi a fare la classica tecnica informatica a chiudere e riapre Teams, magari è... Eh, aspetta, che dai, si in casa. For the students who are at home, and also in the room, I go out from the room because I think there is a technical problem and I come in again, ok? So just wait uh, a minute. Can anyone tell uh, how can we submit the uh, preliminary test? The test is said a uh, professor email. She has told me. I think she said the time of 20 minutes. So I think uh, in the chat it will be already possible. We supposed to leave the meeting because I think we have another class. I don't think you have another class now. Do you have another class at half past ten? Yes, anyway, uh... and if you need to leave the the yeah. meeting, you can send me the email when uh, with your test before today, tomorrow, before tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Um, can you repeat the last line? I. We, I didn't hear. Yes. Excuse me. If you need to go, you have to send me your work before the tomorrow lesson. Okay. 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 You're welcome. Per fare una cosa, ultima prova. Ha il file in una cartella da qualche parte? Sì. E provi a trascinarlo dalla cartella dentro la chat. No, non lo fa proprio andare. Mm -hmm. Però potrei fare così. No, ma non faccio ne ho un'idea. Voglio fare copia. Font stamp. 
No, solo stamp penso. Vale. Sì. Sì. Secondo che volevo dire il suo tutto, sì. Se lo so, eh. Excuse me, madam. I have Oh, I still have problem with enrolling to this course. Please, would you mind sending us the preliminary assessment? Please, madam. Okay, put a, a screenshot in the chat, okay? In the chat. Okay. So okay, you can see the screenshot now. I can send you an attachment, okay? If you have problems with the enrollment, send me an email. Ok, with your data. Ha un pezzetto di carta o qualcosa che mi segna il suo nome, così vado a dirlo. Andiamo a dire che qua da E avete bisogno della della videata, vero? Scusate. Eccola. Eh sì, c'è il problema della stanza di Teams che non lo No, se mi segna solo il suo nome. Ah, ok, sì, io. Sì, sì. Così c'è meno Beh, non so dirlo. Sì, purtroppo penso sia un problema proprio della stanza di Teams e come è stato fatto, quindi purtroppo su questo noi non possiamo farci nulla. Va bene, grazie, grazie mille. mille. Bene. Yes. Um, will future lessons potentially be recorded or not? Because there's some disruptions connection-wise at certain points. No, they are not recorded. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you can see it's a bit larger now, better.
però non mi stufa di guardare su una cosa, di verificare che lei abbia fatto l'accesso alla stanza di quest'anno, ma penso di sì, perché se ci sono più studenti che sì. la sì. E eventualmente deve fare lei una segnalazione all'assistenza accesa, okay. perché non hanno idea di prendere il eh. Perché ci sono, a volte ci sono dei problemi con, le, con delle stanze e non sanno neanche loro perché. Okay. Quindi l'unica cosa che può fare deve, deve scrivere all'assistenza cesia e segnalare questa cosa. Perché potrebbe essere certo, però se mi potrebbe essere un problema di Microsoft, diciamo. Ok. Allora. Tipo, ecco, tipo, non so, da, da telefono non lei riesce a condividere dei file eventualmente. Si guarda. Sì. No, per fare un'ultimissima prova, perché se è andato eh, per il file Word, è andato... la stessa cosa, stiamo facendo 46 studenti, okay, visto che dopo 15 minuti devo finire, visto che non sono riuscito no, a mandare, devo lasciare. Allora, posso fare una cosa, c'è cioè, dopo? Fai il file, sul file fai copia e fai incolla sulla chat, come ho fatto prima con, 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 lo, con lo screenshot. Puoi fare così col file, magari Vediamo mi piace va. di più. Eventualmente devi scrivere cioè, la sessione di Va bene, okay. grazie. Mille. Doctor, after emailing you the form, do we leave the class or is there more afterwards? It's better if you finish it now and you send it to me, okay? Uh, yes, yes, I finished it and sent it. I mean, do we leave the... Let the me check. Let me check. Yes, okay. Hey man, Ah no. No, it's not you. Okay, Eli. Okay, yes. If you have completed, you can go tomorrow. We are going to develop the solution together. Okay, so you can control what you have done. Uh, so first, uh, tomorrow morning, we start uh, with the solution of this and then we go to the to the recall uh, of soil mechanics that we need okay okay thank you. thank you have a good day bye 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 yes sorry could you repeat What's your name? Hey. Virginia. Okay, don't worry now to ask. Just send the email. Pay attention to write the right email address. Here it is. I will write it down in the chat. 
I will answer to your email when I download your file, okay? So if I doesn't answer, please uh, control that everything was fine in the, in the delivery of uh, your file, okay? Here is my email. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You can put it here. Oh, yes. all that, yeah. 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 Thank you. That was the match of today. Sorry? That was it for today. Yes, it, yeah. everything okay. fine. So, because there are five minutes missing yeah. from the end of the lesson. Okay. Do you start at 11, the next one? This was my only one for today. The only one for yeah. today? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will have a look to your uh, timetable. So, yeah. we don't have to hurry no. <laughs> to stop uh, some minutes before uh, yeah. 11. But I'm only here for half a year, so I take like different mm -hmm. different types of courses. Ah, oh, okay, so it's not I'm, for all. Yeah, I'm not in a program. Okay. okay. But there's a lecture tomorrow. Right? Yes, tomorrow morning, uh, nine. Bye-bye, see you tomorrow.